Congratulations, Frankie, on a great race. I mean, I, it was the, the moment for me was when Alderney attacked and you attacked over the top of them. I mean, it was a, quite an amazing performance. Yeah, it was. Um, it's an interesting course. It's not flat, but it's not hilly, so had to kind of keep the pressure on. Um, and we're kind of like, it's we're here. We've got a big couple of races coming up, a um, couple of World Tour races, and quite a few stage races. So we've just got to use these races, make it hard and um, yeah, just make the most of it. And it's great to have such a full field and I mean, every race that we've done this year, every nap beat seems to be getting harder and harder. Um, and it's just nice to be at the right end of it and uh, making it hard. And it's great to have positive racing as well. So you left, you've basically got everything out. Yeah. <laughs> you left yeah. everything on the road. Yeah, definitely. Um, like my, my aim today was just try and keep attacking. Um, just yeah, keep going as until we can. And I actually had this was one other rider, the final move that went, uh, and we got caught with like two k to go maybe. Yeah. Um, but then I just kind of kept myself at the front. Uh, I just kept pedaling. Uh, I, yeah. I, I don't know where I came. I got swamped by five or six riders over the line, but it's uh, a good day in the legs. Um, I was going to say the, the performance itself, the, uh, to, to be able to attack. And hold that attack and right until 2k to go. Yeah. That, that shows that the, the legs are good. Yeah, legs are definitely coming. Um, obviously, I had a big build into track nationals, and then I had a bit of downtime after that. Um, and then I'm just coming to the end of a big, like, four week training block. I've uh, got one more day tomorrow. We're going down and doing Ixworth Crips. Um, and then, yeah, back it off a bit into Lincoln and then heading out to Belgium for a couple of UCIs. So, one more day and then a bit of a rest. <laughs> Can I ask you, racing in Belgium, we saw what happened to Robin and that, with these crashes and that. Um, is there a little bit of apprehension there, or are they no worse than, than riding any race here? Um, a, a little bit, but I think you, in Belgium, the, the standard of riding and the standard of riders is... Strength and depth. Yeah, strength and depth and the ability is a lot, like, people are a lot more experienced and a lot... It's just, it is it's faster, but the riders are a lot safer. So yeah. every like everyone's making informed decisions, and I mean, unfortunately, that accident on Wednesday it it is just a racing incident. And yeah. um, I've said it before in different places. It's it is just a risk you accept with putting a number on your back. And if you're going into race and race to the line, then it's part of racing. You hope it doesn't happen, but. Unfortunately, it does, and I do hope that Robin, like especially my teammates, but everyone that went down, heals up quickly. Well, do you crush yourself as a sprinter, or? or um, or? I don't know. Last week, I did a race with 2,000 meters of elevation in it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Don't really know my role. Um, still finding my feet. The bunch sprints for that. Yeah, I'm. I'm. We've got such. Uh, we've got a fair few very strong and talented sprinters in my team, so. I don't think that it would ever be myself that would be going to the line in a mass bunch sprint, maybe from a breakaway. You just keep attacking. Yeah, I just try and get out. out there. Yeah, I just try and get out of trouble. Really, that's my main motivation. Um, so yeah, it's if I find myself in that position, then you do just have to commit and not think about what could happen because otherwise, there's no point in starting the race. Really. Well, having had a, a number of accidents. Um, it's quite close. Yeah, it is. It's just like well, you racing. got through that one. And you got a bit of a tan, no doubt. Yeah, hopefully. Um, <laughs> first time in a while that we've seen the sun, so let's hope yeah. it stays. <laughs>